Lesson 8 to the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagorean Theorem is probably the most famous theorem in all of history. Um, it's definitely one of the biggest, and it fascinates people. There's presidents of the United States who have created proofs or stolen them from other people, who knows. Um, and it is also fundamental to the study of trigonometry, which we will cover in this unit, and which is the next level of math for many people after they get through their algebra and geometry courses. So, I want you to prove it. I will help you start. I will not help you finish. You're on your own. I will tell you that the Pythagorean theorem is right here. Most of you know how to use it. We take this side, and don't write this down, I'm going to erase it. We square it. We add it to this side. And it turns out that's the same as this side. And just as a brief piece of history, the Pythagoreans, when they came up with this, did not think of squaring a number as, oh, I have 4, 4 squared is 16, it's just 4 times 4. If you said to square a side, they said, well, what's the area of a side? that's got C for both sides. Well, the area of that is C squared. And the area of a square here is A squared, and the area of a square here is B squared. That is how they understood squaring. It's a kind of interesting thing. There's a, a couple of interesting proofs of the Pythagorean theorem based on the area of the sides squared because it's the same as A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, I will get you started. Remember, we take A, put it down. I forgot to label. I'll put an N there. I think that's kind of a hint, though. You don't really want to use that side if you can help it. And then I'll take this side, B, and the C flips down to here, and N goes up to here. So, hopefully you remember that. And we got to label the sides. AC is B. And BC is A. And I know I've got capital and lowercase letters, but it's just the way I do it. And the distance from B to N is E. And the distance from A to N is D. And CN is not listed with a distance, so we'll just call it CN. Again, another hint, you may not need that. So, see if you can set up a ratio. What over B equals B over what? Hope you can figure it out. I'm not going to go through it. I'll show you another time. But the bottom line is that when you're done, you should get A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's a pretty neat little proof up there. So how do we use it? Well, that's unfortunately, in my mind, very easy. I have to be careful. 3 squared plus 7 squared, and just make sure the legs are on either side of the 90 and the hypotenuse is across from 90, equals x squared. 9 plus 49 equals x squared. x equals the square root of 58. And I happen to know you can't reduce that. You might need a little practice before you know that off the top of your head. x squared plus, don't forget your parentheses, x plus 2 squared equals 100. I would pause the recording, try and do that on your own. Now I'll knock it out. x squared plus x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 100. Combine the heck out of everything. 2x squared plus 4x minus 96 equals 0, divide everything by 2, x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0, x plus 8, x minus 6, I would get x equals negative 8, x equals 6, toss that out, because it's negative, I'd get 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 6, 8, 10, which we call a triple, but you don't know that yet. You will soon. And finally, careful, 
y minus 1 squared plus 5 squared equals y. y minus 2y plus 1 plus 25 equals y. y squared, excuse me. y squared minus 3y plus 26. equals zero and it looks like I messed up somewhere yes I did this is supposed to be y squared always fun to make mistakes so the y squareds cancel I get negative 2y equals negative 26 y equals 13 nice put it back in I get 13 13 minus 1 is 12 it's another triple, 5, 12, 13. More details on that. And so on and so on. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared is not that hard. But as you can see, we can make some pretty tricky problems. Got to be good at your algebra. Got to be good at your factoring. Got to be good at your foiling, distributing. That's it. Good luck.